bless you on this morning in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I bless every one of you who have come. La boche gado korega suba. Because of you, others who to come for the Lord and receive their miracles and deliverance. May the Lord remember you in the name of Jesus. May He also give you a miracle that you will always remember. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I said, my God, who is mighty? This 
Hallelujah. As you come this morning, keep your faith on high. Hallelujah. Remove all doubt and unbelief. Like I said earlier, the first miracle that God has given you is the miracle of life. I'm telling you, believe it or not, life is a miracle. Hallelujah. So this morning, let's thank the Lord. Uh -huh. Let's appreciate Him for life this morning. Let's thank him for waking us up. Let's acknowledge his good presence in our life. Let's thank him for his goodness, his mercy, his loving kindness. The Bible says it is because of the Lord's mercy. We are now consumed. His compassion fails not. His mercy are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Hallelujah. So wherever you are this morning, if you are grateful to be alive, my God, if you are glad to be counted amongst the living, let's thank the Lord for life this morning. Let's begin to thank Him. And as you begin to bless the Lord, as you stir up your heart to bless the Lord, faith will begin to rise inside of you. In the name of Jesus. Ego rega zopa negoda. Somebody begin to thank Jesus this morning. Thank him for the first miracle he has given you. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for his faithfulness. Thank him for everything he has done for you. Oh, just be your life this morning alone. It is the first miracle that God has done. And he's about to do more for you. Because God loves you so much. He has you on his mind. And everything he wants for you is good. Father, we thank you this morning. We are grateful this morning to be alive. We thank you, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. We honor you, Jesus. You are higher left than our God. Master Dora Gazuba. Shedego Rige Zuba. Master Toriga. Just open your mouth and bless him wherever you are. Oh, the Bible says, Enter her gates with thanksgiving. Enter her coast with praise. Know that the Lord our God is good. He's gracious, He's merciful. He's magnificent. He's kind. He kadalabo soto regadoza. I gando rige zepa ruosa. Vukapo riele kato Maria. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. I akose garego zobaha. I gando rige zobe. 
Father, we worship you this morning. You are greater than the greatest. You are higher than the highest. You are mightier than the mightiest. There is no God like you. Hey! Ho ho! We lift up the name of Jesus this morning. There is no need on the earth, oh God, that anyone can bow to Jesus. But your name, Jesus. Manko reka dosi kelebe, manko raki zele kaduza, kareke supele kototo. Somebody bless the name of Jesus, bless the name of Jesus. Worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The bright in the morning star, the essence of days, the Lady of the Valley. Yes, oto rake to bari andoza. Yako daru soko barieda, ekando riga subaro koto, halabo subelegede, oka subelegedo. Oh, give him praise this morning. Give him worship this morning. He's a good God, magnificent God, awesome God, great God. Regado zegede, all believers, sons of God, beloved, bless his name wherever you are. Mansato ragi zobe la hosa, makora la basu belenge dos. Father, we thank you this morning. We come with thanksgiving this morning. We thank you, God, for the first miracle you have done for us. Ya 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 ya. Ya nu to kore ge da hosa. O kore ya la bala basu ba. She bora la bandege dos si kere la basa. Makora gado riga zobe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Ika dora geso bele gosanta ya, manko reka zubele gede gatsu kore gada, manko raka zubele gede la bosa, ika zubele gado zegede, mazuba roko tare gede, shandeli gazube lupo rega ha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Open your mouth wherever you are. Even those on Facebook. Ah, tell the Lord, thank you this morning. The first miracle you got from God is life. Yato bariga supa roko do. Iga roko se kelebe. And during this morning, you are in your sick bed. Thank the Lord this morning because God is about to set you free. He's about to heal your body. He's about to deliver you from where you are. In the name of Jesus. So begin to thank you first. That you can hear my voice this morning. You can see my face. You have life in your body. You have life Father, we thank you this morning. We worship you, Jesus. You are great. You are great. Somebody bless his name. Father, we worship you this morning. You are the great I am. Hallelujah. Ma corre che sube la cosa. I cadore che sube. Ma so da righe. I cadore che sube lì os. Santo riga do sedete. Thank you daddy we love you this morning. We worship you Jesus. Oh, you are great. No one can do it. 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 No one can do it
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are the most in the yard. You are the most in the yard. Oh, hallelujah. You are the most in the yard. You are the most in the yard. Yalla balu se deliga do se dia ma so to ragi e de bosso baraka de dia o bani anna de bosso barre da do se ge de gadoza thank you jesus o karaba sutale we love you all the dos ala ba 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 e gando rega zubele de de thank you jesus Hallelujah. Ala bosso do rega suba. Oh Holy Spirit. Let's acknowledge the Holy Spirit this morning. Let I say into all our steps today. Let I sing to take control this morning of this miracle service. Let I sing this morning. He's the one that convicts. Karegi zobo ralaba. Kalige de bo zube liga doza. Kena koto rika zube lega do. Ika zobo ruse kado si gede gede. He's the one in control of the word. He's the most important person in the world. That we can do nothing with our hand. Oh, call upon the precious Holy Spirit this morning. Thank him for being with you. Thank him for standing by you. Jesus says, I will not leave you often. I will not leave you alone. I am a good father. I take care of my children. Oh, beloved, this morning you are not alone. You got somebody by your side. All you have to do this morning is to acknowledge his presence. And allow him this morning to invade your life. And surround your world to him this morning. I seem today to order your steps. And whatever you do, wherever you go. He's the one that's going to touch you this morning. He's the one that's going to give you the miracle you need. He's the one that's going to heal your body. Heal your marriage. Touch the lives of your children. Hallelujah. He is the Holy Spirit. Reko Sakada, there is no one like him. Kapo Sopo Lige de Gede. Oh, Kasupa Regede. Wherever you are this morning, welcome his presence. If you can speak in tongues, speak in tongues. Hakado Rega Zegede. I'll just open your mouth and say, Holy Spirit, I welcome your presence. I, I notice you today. Akasuba roko pari ere bosa, masede liye gaduza, makora na bara bo super liyes, makora kede kede, makori gazuba roko to, ika dora bosa, ika zuba legede, kala bo super legede, koko 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 ika dosa haya, Holy Ghost, you are welcome this morning. We acknowledge your sweet presence. Ah, we thank you for being here this morning. We thank you because we are not alone. Hey, you promise you will always be with us. You say in the rivers, God, you are with us. When we go through the fire, God, you promise to be there. In the valley, God, you are there. In the wilderness, God, you are there. Oh, we acknowledge your presence this morning. Thank you, precious Holy Spirit. Oh, Karabadios. Regedalie. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Yalaba Sote Dalabos. Lord, have your will this morning, Holy Ghost. Yanela Kutora Dabos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you this morning, Father. You are great. Alabo soto regede. Halale go do rega zuba lagada. Koba ro shikando rega zegede ga suba. Hande ko dahu zegando rega zuba. Thank you, Holy Spirit. As you tune in this morning, set your expectation high. Believing in your heart without a shadow of doubt. That God is going to give you a miracle that no one can give you. Ya soto regi zege do horia. Shendere gadu rega do sobanea. Sige do rika sopa regede. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's bless the Lord a little bit this morning. The Bible says the Lord inhabits. Our praises. So this morning, let's give him some praise and worship. And let's see what the Lord is going to do in our midst this morning. The Lord, our God, is in our midst. A miracle working God. Faithful God. Tell 
touch somebody today and by the goodness of God because God is going to give you a miracle and you will tell them no one else did it for Jesus. Jesus, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you believe that God is good, and only good things comes from God, shout Hallelujah. They call Reggae Zegedi. My super Lucian de Hosa. Thank you, Jesus. As the music plays this morning, and we enter into worship, I want you this morning to set your eyes on the Lord, that He is the only God that can give you a miracle this morning. He's the only one that can change your story. He's the only one that can heal your body. He's the only one that can turn your life around. He's the only one that can change your doctor's report. He's the only one that can heal your body instantly this morning. Our God is a good God. He's a magnificent God. Rose gado purie, ika supo roko toto, ika supo rusete, shende go ziga doza, ika supo rige doza, oka supo rige doza, eka supa. What no man has done, and you what do? What no man can do? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Karabara Baba Baba. Smile upside down. Karababa Baba Baba Baba. Like a river of sorrow. Father, we adore you this morning. We say you are beautiful. You are awesome. You are mighty. A miracle worker. An awesome guy you are. There is no one like you. We thank you this morning. Hallelujah. So like There is none like you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Just wait for your hands this morning and tell him there is no one like him. Look into his eyes. Imagine the Lord standing right there by you. See a father who is so loving. Just envision this morning a father who is so loving and will not allow his little one to fall or fail. Imagine he's standing before you this morning and tell him there is no other God you have but him. If you don't know him this morning, before the minister hit it, you will give your life to him. But if you do know him as your personal Lord and Savior, they will not save you from the hands of the enemy. They will not keep you alive. They will not do good things for you. Look at him this morning in the eyes and say, Jesus, there is no one like you. Oh, Kata Yelebos. Igando Regede. Oh, Kali Gedebo Subarakadosa. Egalegedo Zopa Regada. Manko Regede Gadu Zege. Manko Ragadori Yarabo Sube Legede. Jesus, we thank you this morning. 
There is no God like you, Father. We love you so much. We put you up this morning. We lift you up high. We know you to be a miracle working God. A God that answers prayer. A God that delivers. A God that set the captives free. A God that loves us so much. Thank you, Jesus. A God that gave us only one for us. Thank you, Jesus. And your name is Yahweh. Elohim. I don't know. Jehovah Jireh. Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Nisi. Father, we thank you this morning. You are well able to do a seed in it. A bond on the above all we can think in us. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, somebody love on the Lord this morning. Open your mouth and love on him. He is beautiful, precious, tender, compassionate. Her eyes is for the fire. Oh, catch up her reggae. His words are like many waters. His voice are tender. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We love you so much. Father, this morning, we love you more than anyone else in this world. I open your mouth and say, Father, I love you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Ha, ya, 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 ya. Yo, 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 go bari, he, da, ha. Ho, ho. Igan, no, re, gi, zo, ba, re, gu, za, ha, ne. Man, go, ra, di, ya, da, bos. Igan, le, be, bos, si, ga, da, ba. Man, son, do, di, ya. Igan, do, saka. Ha, ya, da, bos. Thank you for loving us. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your name is Yahweh. A miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Hallelujah. This morning, before I pray for you this morning, as the Lord will lead, I want us to look at something in the Word of God. It is Miracle Tuesday. God gave us the assignment last week. And it's something new we have begun. It doesn't mean God can heal any other day. Throughout the week, as a minister of God, can still do what he wants to do. But we say, set this day aside to minister deliverance and healing. And that God Almighty will move in the midst of his people. And this morning, I want us to look at something as his children. How many of you know that God is good? If you know that God is good, tap on Facebook, say, I know that God is say, God is good. And on the prayer line, say, God is good. How many of you believe that God is a good God? It's not just something you just say because you heard somebody say it. But maybe you read it in the word of God and conviction came in and you had Revelation of God's goodness. Or maybe because everyone of us listening this morning, somewhere, somehow, God has done something good for us. And like I said this morning, the first miracle, matter of fact, every day God shows, God gave us miracle. Every time you wake up in the morning, you are able to breathe. You can see it even you are on a sick bed. But you still have life in your body. 
That's a miracle. That's one of the greatest miracles. Because when you are sleeping, you are dead. And in the morning, God had to send angels to go and wake you up. So somehow, some way, or maybe once upon a time, you were in a situation and you call on God. Or maybe you try him on me and no human being help you. But God came through. And you know it was God who came through for you. This morning, as we enter the time of the world, that our faith will be built up. I want you to think about God's goodness. And because God is good, there is nothing that he can do. A good God gives nothing but good things. Or does nothing but good things. Things. Hallelujah. If you know God is good, then this morning, whatever issue you came with, I'm speaking to believers. I was as I was preparing last night before God. I came across something and I posted it on Facebook. And there's something about Facebook, right? Or almost two years been preaching now. I come to realize that any word that people like, when you they like blessing, they like in those stuff. We release a word, and they resonate with them. You get more likes. And I said yesterday that as I bought a game, as keep this morning. As I minister to you and the Holy Ghost move and bring the word of God and life in your life this morning. I want you to erase every doubt, every negativity for your mind concerning your situation. Hallelujah. That's what I ask you. Do you believe that God is good? You say yes, God is good. Or even the ones who don't believe. At the end of this video, you will know that God is good because God will touch your body. And you will forever talk about his goodness. Erase every teaching you ever heard about God being limited. We serve an unlimited God. Oh God was so good and wants to always do good for his children. When God, the Bible says, there is no shadow of turning. Hallelujah. And I said last night, as believers, as are born again, and you are not born again, stay tuned. You will give your life to Jesus. And this morning, whatever miracle you want, be a healing, delivering, breakthrough, whatever it is, you will live for the glory of God. Testify. But the those who are saved this morning, it is your legal right according to the word of God to have good health and to have or live an abundant life. Most especially after Jesus Christ have died. The Bible said that thief coming to steal, kill, and destroy. John 10, 10. But Jesus said, have come to give you life. More abundantly. I have come to give you health. Oh, don't never you think that God is behind your sickness. I want you this morning to erase that thought. God is not behind your sickness. The devil is the one who made you sick. He's the author of sickness. 
He's the author of afflictions. Oh, beloved, this morning, have no doubt in your mind that God is punishing you for your sin. Because matter of fact, God doesn't even make you to go sin. So for instance, maybe if your own sickness came as the result of sin, it was not God that sent you there. It was the devil. Whatever your situation is this morning, I'm speaking to believers and there's an unbeliever here this morning. You too will get your miracle. But I won't because until you change your mentality, you can get your deliverance. But this morning, I want you to see that God is too good. And there is nothing he can do. Jesus said, for this reason, the son of man came to destroy the works of the devil. So if Jesus Christ have destroyed the works of the devil, then what are many Christians bound with sicknesses and diseases? Maybe we not believe in God for who he say he is. But this morning, I want you to change your mentality and by your sake to worship. It's not too hard. All God needs is for you to just believe that he can do it. That's all. I shared with you yesterday, right, about the lady with the issue of blood. I bet she didn't even hear the gospel. But she came to a place like, I just tired of the sickness. And if there Jesus, who wherever he go, he's healing. For me, I don't even want him to touch me. I just want to touch the hem of his garment. And I know I will be free. What a faith. The Bible said for 12 years, this woman bled. She had every reason to be isolated. She had every reason to go and commit suicide. Because guess what? For those 12 years, the Bible said she spent her money on medication. And she ran out of money. And worst of all, she did not get healed. And like I said yesterday, in that kind of society, those days, when a woman is on her period, they're not supposed to be around people before even in the church or coming close to a man of God. But that little book tradition, this morning, it raised from your mind that if God wants to heal me, he will, he will please don't even think about that anymore. There is no if about this. Let me show you something in God's word. Exodus chapter 23. He says, I will take sicknesses away from you. The number of your days I will fulfill. So if even you sin because when God gave this instruction to the children of Israel, he told them, keep away from sin. Keep away from whatever that would hinder my presence. In so doing, I will take away sicknesses for you. These were Israelites. They were not blow wash up. So, if you are a believer, you confess your sin, you repent. And you sincerely come to God. God promised he would take sicknesses away from us. So, it's not if God wants to heal you. 
The next one is for Isaiah 15, verse 27. He says, I am the Lord that heals. This good God that you know, He does nothing when it comes to sickness but heal. So there is no if. If God wants to heal me, then He will heal me. No, this morning, be like that lily. Even though, by tradition, by the order of her day, there were so many restrictions on how to come to the house of God. That woman did not mind that. She didn't care about the tradition. All she wanted was her healing. So this morning, I want you. And you may not even be hidden. Whatever you are believing God for this morning, that you want miracle for, do not put on if. With healing, there is no if God will, if God wants to heal me. No, there's no if. Because God says, I am God. I am the Lord who heals you. He does nothing but to heal his children. I want faith to bear up in you this morning. That you will forget that sickness and believe. He tell us to come into this world. And preach the gospel to the entire world. And to those who believe, he says, as we pray for them, they will be healed and delivered and set free. God does not lie. God is not a liar. The devil is the one that have been putting that doubt in your heart and say, if God will heal me, let him heal me. If God is God, no. God heals. He sent for his word to heal our diseases. And this morning, I am giving you the word of God that God heals sicknesses any kind of sickness he does nothing but heal so don't say but or if and don't say tomorrow don't say I want to be touched before no but you see right I come to realize that sometimes we because of the lack of faith of, of some people they try to make precious job so hard. I'm telling you. No. Don't make it so hard that you need thin battle of oil before you will be healed. Or we need to lay foot on you before you will be healed. No. If you only believe that God heals and you remove the F whatever you are even by reading your Bible as a believer you will receive your healing they say great men of God will die now when I got saved I read his book he ministered healing to people but it all started with him. He was sick for many years. He was confined to the bed. He was paralyzed from the early age of his life in bed. He couldn't do nothing for himself. They gave up on him. And according to the story, they said, he began to read the Bible. And he came across when he says, if you believe that any if you be, if you if you pray and believe 
Whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. If you have faith, as soon as a master see, whatever you say to this mountain, be moved, be removed, it shall be removed. And according to the story, he took hold of the word of God. No one laid hands on him. No one, no one even, no one even preached to him like this. He just came across the word of God. That's it. If you believe, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. Do you believe? Remove evil. Remove if this sickness you have been carrying as a believer is too long. It's time for you to go and tell unbelievers that Jesus healed. You can't be a believer and you are saying, say, I'm a Christian. You see what? Christian is not a religious thing. Our God is a good God. I'm telling you. He's a God of miracle. He's a supernatural God. He does what he says. He does not afflict his children. He does nothing but good. How can all believers serve God? And you are a believer. You crying, I get cancer. Oh, I get this. Oh, I thought I heard that your God can heal. Oh, so all believers that are born, they will tell you that. I thought I heard a Christian God can heal. So, if you say your God is good, why he can heal you? That's why you don't say, if God wants to heal me, if it is the word of God, please, it is the word of God that you be healed. Have this in your mind today. God wants to heal everyone who is sick. The problem is people. They don't believe him. I'm saying this, God touched my own story. Once upon the time they said, I couldn't have children. They told me I have father, and because of that, I couldn't have babies. But guess what? God defied and gave me three babies. So I know this God. I know what this God can do. I'm not just saying something that I read in book. Thank God for the word of God. I'm releasing for this word of God. Place faith in me to believe. That's what the Bible says in the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, voices. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. You can't say you love God and you don't have faith for God to heal you. Come on now, somebody. Come on. Don't buy the devil lies. God wants to set you free. It's time you'll be delivered. Have your freedom. The God you've been calling on every day. Let his goodness be your spirit in your life. He wants to touch you this morning. It says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. For him that cometh to God must believe that he is a rewarder. Of them that diligently seeking. How many of you wake up every morning praying to God, coming to church, reading your Bible, sowing seeds here and there, doing this, doing that? You think God has been saying that? He has seen. He's saying this morning. Believe him. Don't waver. Every time you are believing God and doubt comes in, it finish. It's not going to work. That's what the Bible says in the book of James chapter 1. He says, but let them ask in for you. Ask in God. He said, ask. It shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Not and the door shall be opened. Have you asked God to heal your body? Then receive your healing. There's a man ago I listened to Kevin Zidane. He had his encounter with Jesus in heaven. He died for a few hours 
and went to heaven and came back. He spent 45 minutes in heaven. Oh, we are in the days of the supernatural where God is just doing things to prove and to unfold his faithfulness on the, in the earth realm. He said that one thing Jesus told him is, my people, one of their major problems is receiving. He said, one of our major problems is receiving from God. God said, receive it. He said, if. Suppose if a girl will not be prosper, will be prosper. Her. But you're suffering. Your bills are not paid. Things are so hard on you. And you see, if it is God's will for me to prosper, this morning, I want you to remove all your if. If. Because whenever you put even, you cannot see the result that God wants to give you. Because if place or limitation, if is a sign of doubt, he says, let him ask in faith, nothing with wavering. James chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. For they that waver are like a wave of the sea, driven. With the wind and toes. For let not those who waver think they shall receive anything of the Lord. If you have doubt in your heart and you waver about what God can do, He says, You will not receive. You will not. The last two verses I want to share with you this morning. In Numbers 23, verse 19. Like I'm saying, change your mentality. Remove if. If. If creates doubt. If creates doubt. If builds a room for unbelief. If puts a limitation on what God can do. He said, I'm the God that heals. And if you serve this God that healed this morning, this God wants to heal your body, turn your situations around, give you a miracle. If I may ask this morning, that how many of you believe that God does nothing but truth, or that God's word is true, almost besides the unbelievers, because that's what the unbeliever, because they don't believe the Bible yet. But the believers, you will say, yes, God is true. So, if God is true, then what can you believe him to heal you? Because he never lies, right? Are you getting me this morning? It don't take all that jumping, shouting, water, do all these things. We are the one that, why is it Jesus can do things in the way that he wants to do it? We are a hands free ministry. On the same Facebook, I have come praying for people and they got healed. Instant. Not tomorrow. I will never forget what testimony I got the other time. One of my followers. She said she. Um, she had a baby, something went wrong with her, with her mouth. And for two years, she couldn't eat on her left side. One evening I came, was praying for the sick and doing deliverance. And I said, put your hands to where you are sick. That day, I didn't bless water. I need you story. I prayed a simple prayer. Simple prayer. I said, put your hands to where you are sick. And I prayed. And that was it. She said, when she went, she said, me try and eat. After two years, she was able to eat on her left side. She got an instant healing. 
It don't take all that jumping and shouting and doing all these things. Just believe how just he said, believing doesn't take nothing for you. Okay? It doesn't take just believe as a matter of fact, it's free to believe. It's free. I'm not charging you say, pay me one million dollar and I will pray for you. I'm not saying send me two thousand. I will see you here, Gotcha. I'm not seeing those. It's free this money. This ministry, we don't force people to give. As you are led, you be a blessing. So, this thing we are doing, we're not saying pay 1,000, 500 for your Hidi, 200 for your Hidi. No! I'm only saying believe. And as I pray for you, God will heal your body that state. That's all you have to do. You don't need to pay no money. And God heals you. And you want to be a blessing. Cool. It will help us to advance the kingdom. That more can get the gospel. But it's free. He said, come. Come unto me. Come, 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 come. Come to the way. Come, come. Believe me. Does it cost you anything? Be like that lady. She, she defied tradition. Oh, he, it says, God is not a man. Hey, that he should lie. None of the son of man that he should repent. Has he said it? And shall he not do it? Hey. Or has he spoken it? And shall he not make it good? So, if you know that God can lie, then believe that he heals. The promises of God come to pass. Forever, oh God, that word is settled in heaven. It is settled. The last voice I will give you. He says. We should go into the world. And preach the good news. I'm about to give you the good news this morning. And give you an opportunity to repent and receive him. And then. I'm going to pray for you. Watch the Lord heal your body and give you the miracle you have been praying for. The good news is Jesus overcame death and sin. In case you are listening this morning and you are not saved, or you have not given your life to Jesus, or maybe you have given your life to Him. But you still have doubt. Because no doubt status can even make heaven. Read the book of Hebrews. The Bible says, because the children of Israel doubted God, he told Moses, they will not enter my rest. With the millions that left Egypt, only two persons from that generation entered the promised land. Even Moses didn't make the promised land. He only saw it. God does not let doubt. So the good news is Jesus died for your sins. For our sins. Including me. We were all far from God. Maybe this morning you are listening to me. And you are seeking the way. You know there is a God, but you don't know how to connect with this God. He's the one I've been preaching about this morning, telling you to believe. And this God does not only want to heal your body this morning. He wants you to make heaven. You see, it is so interesting. People can easily get saved. But then, they can believe God will heal it. But today, I burn that demon of doubt. 
everyone listening this morning leading with a miracle. Master of doubt. I come against it. But the power of the blood of Jesus. So the good news is Jesus died for your sins, your sicknesses, that migraine headache, that cancer, that blood pressure, that diabetes, that whatever it is you have this morning has or need or don't have or need. He died for those sicknesses and our sins. And he tells us and we believe and we are prayed for, we will be healed. He said, go into the world, preach the good news. Minister to the sick, to then I believe will be healed. And I have come this morning to give you the good news that Jesus says. He's the only way to God. He's the only way to heaven. There are not many ways to have it only one. I'm the way to life and the truth. I'm the way to God. I'm the one that died for your sins and your sicknesses and your breakthrough, your whatever it is. He died for it. And this morning, all he wants you to do is to accept him. So if you are listening this morning and you are not saved, you want to come to Jesus and you want him to heal your body I want you to commit your life to him accept him in your life because when you come in the kingdom everything is possible yes that's what I said from the beginning believers you are a believer so believe that he heals he delivers so the unbelievers that have not saved this money I want you to, I want to lead you to Jesus so you too can become partaker of this. Because the first thing you must believe what he has done for you. That means you are giving him access to your life. Oh, our God is a gentleman. He does not invade people's life. He does nothing but good. If you put your confidence in him today, and you surrender your life to him. He will not just heal your body. But if you die. As you live for him on this earth. Heaven is yours. He will fight those battles you have been fighting. You have been trying to be good in your own strength. He will show you his goodness. That marriage that is falling apart. He will strengthen it. That child I don't listen. He will touch that child's life. That money you have been looking for, he will give you favor. That I mean, he does nothing but good. Our God is good. Say this prayer after me this morning. As you even go through life situations, you got a savior that protects you in the midnight hours. While we are in the world today, where nowhere is safe. But surrendering your life to Jesus. It doesn't matter what is happening out there. He will protect you from bad people, from violent people. He will keep you. Oh, there's so much benefit and blessing that our God can do. Say this prayer after me this morning. Surrender your life to him. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for my life. I'm sorry for all my sins. Please forgive me. And wash me clean in your precious blood. I believe you died for me and rose from the grave. I accept you today as my personal Lord and Savior. I reject sin to a sin. I will follow you all the days of my life. Please write my name in the book of life. If you said that prayer this morning, walk into the kingdom of God. 
welcome to this glorious kingdom. Your king, Jesus, has no equal. Hey, I love that one. Your new savior, and to all the beloved sisters who are listening, he has no equal. He does nothing but good. And this morning, he wants to give you now a miracle. We are all saved. We are all accepted to him now. There is nothing that he cannot do. Wherever you are this morning, whatever sickness that is in your body, I want to minister first to the sick people. If you are sick this morning and you want hear it from the Lord, you want miracle, man, you are saying, I'll show you through the God's word how God heals. You are erasing your doubt. No more if. You are come over that no more if. You are not blaming God that is God who don't this. And because I said, no, 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 no. No. I want you wherever you are. If you are sick in your body. And you want to be healed by Jesus. And you believe in your heart. That as I pray for you. You will be healed. If your sickness can be pointed to, touch the area. If it is your legs, if it is your back, your feet, whatever you can touch, it touch it. If not, if your own sickness cannot be touched, but maybe it's a whole body, lift your hands to Jesus. He's right there with you. Angels are right there. If your own situation requires surgery, God will do a surgery for you this morning. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you now. He can have a sin there. 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 He can have a sin He can have a sin there. He can have a sin there. Oh, just lift your hands to him. Or touch your errors when you are sick. As I'm singing and worshiping and praying at the same time, he's touching you. He no no see a neko to pariea. He ya no supeli katura geto bare nene ho ko pari gotoria. Sikora basoto reana rios. Thank you, Jesus. He's already touching people. Masondo ria ne ho siya. He a na ho na ko subeli ere bo siya. I kandori ne le kandori ya. I a le basi ne a kopande hi kotori ya. The Lord is here. Your King is here. O kandori ya se ne a muri ne a na. Manko bari ne le bo subara koto bari ge. Iyo nori gandori ya na koda banduri ya ne give father. You sent me this morning to preach the good news to your children. The word says we shall lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed. We shall speak and devils shall be cast out. For all of your children this morning, all over the world, different places, who have come in contact with this video, Lord, touch their bodies. They believe. They accept you. They know you are a good God. He come by any robot sick, and he's touching people already. He's right there. Ho kandori ya supele gede kodori ya. Ya nori ya raba supele ya raba supele. Any kind of sickness this morning in your bodies. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I will say that three times. Makora raba supele ya okupande ya. He's touching you. Angels are right there. 
Some of you had a appointment to go do surgery. No more surgery. You will come to testify of the goodness of God. I tell you, you know, it's not too hard. No, just believe. That's it. Iko baro ko nori yandea. Okora ka subele gendori yada baho regedea. Any kind of sickness in your body that have on knee and don't have on knee, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yamora da go subele gadora ga subea. Iko rubande gotora ka subele gedosa. Iko rada ba subei. O ka suba ro suba. Any kind of sickness in your body. Melt away. Melt away. Cancerous cells. Melt away. Diabetes. Melt away. Headache. Out. Yakambo ri ke tu baru soporu ko pandeya. Ye no saida i ku poro si ke do baro kuda. Manko re na kutu ria subela koto. Breast cancer. Melt away. Iko rada boshi hane de boshi ya. Ah, even barrenness melt away. Iko rani ala boshi bahuri ya. Oh, just believe. I told you he heals. He got a boshi to re ala hosi ya. Receive your healing. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wherever you are, begin to thank you. He has healed your body. Check yourself. Check yourself and come in how you feel. Or send us your testimony. Go back to your doctor. Go and check your high blood pressure. Check your shiko level. Jesus Christ. And what the Lord has done this morning, it is permanent. When God does something, it is permanent. This healing is permanent. No more body pain. No more. No more body pain. You are healed and delivered because Jesus said that all he does, he heals. The next group I want to pray for this morning. Oh, my body is hot. Hey, 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 hey. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. Hey, hey. Rako bori gararabosia. Leki moruzo boragade. You are free. Hear it. Oh, what your body is this morning. No more doubt in Jesus. You will go out there and tell your unbelieving friends that my Jesus healed. And because of your testimony, you shall come to his saving knowledge. Thank you, Jesus. Be healed, everyone. Be healed and delivered and set free by the power of the living God. Let the blood of Jesus this morning flow through your veins. And I declare your healing permanent. In the name of Jesus, permanent. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. The next group that God wants to touch. Oh, it is a miracle Tuesday. And God does nothing good today but miracle. Fear. Fear. Many of God's people are walking in fear. Fear is not of the Lord. This morning. Masubele Ginuria. Masotori, even you are received your healing right now, and you were afraid will come back. That demon has to go. No. When God does something, it is permanent. Open your mouth, say, I refuse to fear. Open your mouth, this one, declare, or type. Say, I refuse to fear. I refuse to walk in fear. On a prayer line, if you are walking in fear, say out. On Facebook, type and say, I refuse to walk in fear. Declare that. There is power in declaration. And I'm going to pray for you this morning. But the spirit of fear will not overtake you. No more. No more. In the name of Jesus. Say, 
I refuse to walk in fear. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yabora katori adabos. Iyalaba baba baba korubari katori adabos. Iyadebos shikara baba. Regedo satari nedebos. Iyalaba sube legede sobandoria. Masoba. There is someone afraid they could not lost their business. I don't know. You think you're gonna lost that business in whatever it is, but don't fear. No. Mm -mm. Whatever business you were battling back when you are in right now, you don't fear. Thank you, Jesus. If your audience is now working, come by and play the video. The anointing and the power never leaves the video. God told me. Yes, for now millions will hear these videos and they will be and they will get that the simple you are getting, they will get it. The power never leaves the video. Now I come against that spirit of fear. The Bible says God has not given us the spirit of fear. But of power, love, and sound mind. You are so fearful, so afraid you cannot do stuff because you were afraid. But this morning, received soundness of mind. That's your own miracle. Corobo, so you don't need no medication to make you to stop working in fear. It is a spirit that afflicts people, limit people. Be free this morning in the name of Jesus. Spirit of fear, out in the name of Jesus. We see soundness of mind. You will succeed. You will do well in the name of Jesus. That business will not go down. You will not lose that business contract, whatever it is. God is with you. You are his child. And all he wants to do for you is good. The last group I want to pray for are those long-term problems that seems not to be working and you believe only God can do it for you. You have tried different things. You have sought help in different places. But nothing is working. This morning, God wants to give you a miracle if you believe. Sot haregede. Iko re supandegede. I'm not seeing what I'm doing right now. I'm not seeing tomorrow. Miracle is something that no one can explain but God. It's instant. So even those of you that are prepared for healing, your healing is instant. Check yourself. Call back to your diet, to your dieters. I'm praying for the no-thing problem that says not to get a solution. The solution is here. The problem solver is Jesus. He does nothing but good. The only thing that Jesus cannot do is he can fail. The only thing, as mighty as God is, the only thing he cannot do is fail. Thank you, Father. And I'm praying for every one of you that have those long-term issues 
that cannot be so. You are trying. You are praying. You are fasting. You are doing everything you know to do. This morning, receive breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Whatever it is, breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Correggo super reggae dami. I can't do this, I bando rega super. Your story has just changed. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone is afraid to fail. Someone is saying, you are afraid you will fail in this country. No. Whoever you are, please. You didn't come to fail. You came to succeed. That's a wrong thinking. As a child of God, we think about nothing but winning. Our God, I just told you, as mighty as God is, as wonderful as God is, as powerful as God is, the only thing he can do is he can feel. If your God can feel, you therefore can feel. In the name of Jesus. You will not fail. Thank you Jesus. Wherever you are. Begin to thank the Lord. You are free. I have done my part. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. And tell the Lord thank you. Thank you, thank you for your healing. Your deliverance. Your breakthrough. And you feel a change in your body. Isn't it? Tap it. Embass us of your miracle that God has done for you, your healing, your delivery, He has given you. Don't close your mouth shut. Hallelujah. Tell Him thank you, whatever you are. If you believe this, when He has touched your body, you are free. Because He's the God that heals, He does nothing but good. Tell Him thank you. Lift your hands. If you couldn't lift your hands, lift your hands. If you couldn't move your legs, move your legs. Karaba Shegere. Oh, Rabbi, super leko do tell him thank you. If you could open your mouth, open your mouth. Karaba, Rabbi, Rabbi, oh, sige. Tell him thank you this morning. He has done it for you. A miracle working God has healed your body, has touched your situations, has set you free. You are no more the same. Open your mouth and bless him. Karaba, Rabbi, oh, siyala. Masege do rigede. Iku sapa. Reggae sopa liosa. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tell him thank you, somebody. To the Lord, thank you. Hallelujah. Opa Riyadaba Super. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are free in the name of Jesus. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. Adarabo Super. You are walking in miracle in the name of Jesus. Your life is never the same in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you this morning for touching every life. For touching everybody this morning. Thank you for testimonies. Thank you for testimonies. Thank you, Lord. For this miracle Tuesday, for healing lives, thank you, sweet Jesus, for breakthroughs, for miracles, for salvation. Hey, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Your name is Yahweh. 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 Your name is Yahweh.
are. You are free. I will let you go in a minute. I encourage you this morning. If you are new to the things of God, you gave your life to Jesus this morning. Stick with God. Stay closer to God. Follow us daily on Facebook or YouTube on the prayer line. We are yet daily declaring God's word. Come and stay connected. The Jesus Christ that healed your body this morning and that you accepted in your life. He was a relationship. Christianity is a relationship. And the way you build it is by fellowshipping with Jesus. Praying to him daily. Reading your Bible. Believe of the Spirit. I encourage you. As you fellowship with us daily and do what God wants you to do. You will not just make heaven. Your miracle you just receive is just the beginning of goodness. You will experience God in a supernatural way you have never. And your life will never be the same. In the name of Jesus. Be strong. Be strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might. Tomorrow this Wednesday we are praying. We pray for marriages and what? Children and singles on Wednesday. Come and hear God's word. And intercede for your marriage. Intercede for your children. God is in the business of touching lives. Hallelujah. You are blessed. Lift your hands to God wherever you are. If you have any questions, inbox us, email us. Inbox us, Divine Gardens, International Ministries, on Facebook, on YouTube, Divine Gardens Ministries. You have the prayer line number. Send us your testimonies. Let the world know what God is doing so others can be encouraged and serve the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to bless you this morning. Lift your hands to God as we have come to the end. May the Lord bless you in all areas of your life. May the Lord be good to you. May the Lord cause His countenance, His face to shine upon you. As you go today, go in the spirit, the goodness of God. May favor chase you. Wherever you go, I soak your lives. The lives of your children, your businesses, your job. So many, you better get a new job. Your own miracle is a job for you. And then job you're going to get, you are not qualified for it. That's what makes it a miracle. And the pay will be good. Hallelujah. The pay will be so good. You have never made such a money in your life before. And you bow to make it now. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive that new job, that miracle job. Receive it in the name of Jesus. And come to testify to the glory of God. Lord, I'm hearing they will start you with dirty ladders. I'm saying three zero. Three zero. It didn't mean I, yeah, I know I made that kind of money before. Turn it up an hour. When I used to work for people, I worked for public for like 10 years. When I retired, how much I was making? Is it about $15? Yeah. About $14? Because in Georgia, our pay is now like other states. But I'm hearing, I'm seeing three zero. That's when they're going to start you with $30. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, I'm seeing three zero. That's the pay rate they're going to start you with. You, that miracle drop. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, three zero. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Those that want documents. Receive your own miracle in the name of Jesus. Receive your documents. Hallelujah. Documents, receive it. I say angels now. 
to wherever it needs to come from to go to work. Harabashi, Makure, I thought I was done. But God is still moving. It's Miracle Tuesday. Yes, documents, receive it. It is your own miracle. Rabando Regede. Documents, receive it. In the name of Jesus. Your status have changed. And the reigns of the spirit is about to be physical. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Eka Regiosa. Mazobori Yerebosa. Manko Rige Zikebe. Jessica, whatever is going on with your mouth, I sent healing this morning, deliverance and freedom to her. Wherever she is, I set her free in the name of Jesus. Oh, my good, gracious God. Someone tell Jesus, thank you. Thank you. I'm hearing proposal. Proposal. Maybe one of our single people that will be proposed to this year. I don't know when, but I'm hearing proposal. Yako Rege Zikede Shanto Rege Zuba Robando Hiza. Proposal, receive it. And you are that one that want to be married. It may be your business, but I'm hearing proposal. Maybe business or marriage. I don't know. But if you are believing God for any proposal, be a marriage or business, receive it. In the name of Jesus, it is yours. Just believe. Like I said, don't say if. If God wants me to be married. Do you want to be married? Then receive it. From today, change your language about God. Though. When it comes to your blessing, don't put no condition. If God wants to know. This God that I know, that I have been reading about in the Bible, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah, Jehovah, his name, you see, he told Moses, go to Egypt and set my, tell Pharaoh to set my people free. Moses said, go, if I go, if I tell them, and they ask me who sent you. Hey! I feel God. Miracle is still moving in this place. Anything now is possible. Hey! Moses said, God, and Pharaoh asked me who sent me. He said, Tell Pharaoh, I am. That I am this morning wants to finish what he has begun in your life. Whatever I didn't touch and you want from the Lord, receive it. I am a here to do it for you. Hey! I am! I am! I am! I am! Remove the if. So that proposal be a business, be a marriage, whatever it is, receive it. It's for him. No doubt. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, someone that gave Jesus praise this morning. It is your season. It is your season. The heavens are open. The heavens are open. God is in this place, y'all. Open your mouth and ask him for one thing that I did not mention. I told you, he does nothing but good. He doesn't lie. This miracle Tuesday. As you will open your mouth to ask it for that one thing, receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Walk on the open heaven. The Lord bless you all. Go today in loving God. Leave me holy. Everything God has done for you this morning. 
Hold fast to it. Stay so close to him. Wherever you are this morning, I'm telling you, he's here. Stay so dear to his heart. Stay from sin. Because sin is the only thing that breaks. I'll show you yesterday, right? How you breaks go hard. He loves you that much. Okay? He's not mad with you. That's why he touched you this morning. Another thing I didn't mention that people do. The thing go mad with them so that what God can heal them. Please. No more if. Maybe God is mad with me. He know he's not mad with you. He's not mad with you. Okay? All he wants you is to repent if you mess up and believe his finished work and rise up and be what he has created you to be. He's behind you. Oh, I thought I was done. Thank you, Jesus. In other about Senea. Somebody is drawing. Someone has been touched right now. Hallelujah. Receive. In your homes. What they have been darkness. I speak the light of God. I speak the light of God in your homes. Yes. Receive the light in your homes. Receive the light in your homes. Yes, light. Jesus is light. He's full of light. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, sweet Jesus. You are here, turning lights around. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, many broken hearts. I worship you. I worship you. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. He's the light giver. He's the light in the darkest areas of our life. And that's what he's doing this morning to you. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Let's watch it with the last son I got. Seven more minutes. I thought I was done. Whenever a preacher say I'm done, don't believe them. Because God controls, God controls this, not us. I told him two hours a day. And he gave me the grace to do it. What's about to be done? Thank you, Jesus. Let's wash it with this sun right here. Way makeup. As the music play, just wash it, babe. Just watch. 
worship you. I worship you. You are here working in this place. I worship you, Lord. I worship you. Hey, we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hey! She had been her hips has been hurting. Oh Lord, the devil is mad. And she could barely walk or stand. She said she don't even know how she got on Facebook. She just went to the bathroom. And now and then she will ask for help. But now she didn't have to be helped anymore. Somebody tell Jesus thank you for that miracle, Eastern Healy. I told you, it don't have to be tomorrow. Now, tell him thank you. Haregedo, check yourself, oh. check yourself. God is here. We thank God for that. Thank you for that instant healing, and I declare it permanent. She didn't even know how she got on Facebook because God wanted to do a miracle in her life. And she came and received. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Someone tell Jesus, thank you. It was he that touched. Now, she said she jumped in her room. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. I feel no more pain. Glory to Jesus. Someone shout. Hallelujah. For two days, she couldn't walk. What she had been, she couldn't move. She needed help. And God just healed her body. I need that shadow. I only pray and she believed God's word. That's the miracle God I have been telling you about this morning. He had just proved himself. He just told you he got his or healer. Some of you will never take medication anymore. I'm telling you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, take all the glory this morning for touching lives. Thank you, Lord, for healing the body of your daughter. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
He's a miracle worker, a promise keeper. Hallelujah. He's not a respecter of a person. What he just done for her, he can do the same for you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Father, for this miracle you have done this morning. Thank you for the many that are coming in, oh God. The many testimonies you are bringing. To you be all the glory and the honor. Hallelujah. Isn't God good? God bless you. We give him praise for that miracle. And we know more he will do. Hallelujah. We thank God for Miracle Tuesday. And as you go, keep expecting miracles. You are in the atmosphere of miracles. The Lord bless you. Tell somebody about Jesus. Share this video. Give your testimonies. Hallelujah. Have a victorious, oh my God, I give God praise. Have a victorious day, time is up. If you came late, or maybe you were doubting until you saw this miracle that just happened, go back and play the video. Maybe you were like, oh, it's the same old, same old. And you didn't receive your miracle. Go back, play the audio, play the video. Sit down, listen, believe, and you will come back right to testifying to the glory of God. It was last week when you go to Miracle Tuesday. And he has proven himself this morning. But he's not a man that he should lie. The Lord bless every one of you. And I declare all your testimonies, all your breakthrough, permanent in the name of Jesus. I soak your lives in the blood of Jesus. And I see you all tomorrow morning by the grace of God. Have a pleasant day. Remember that heaven is prepared for prepared people. Bye-bye. Thank you, sweet Jesus. We love you. Take all the glory, Father.